Hi guys, how are you? We are home. We have made it home, right, sweet lady? Me and my little Miss B. So I want to bring you B's full story here. Um, now that we're finally here at home. You know, I'm so proud of you, just so well. I'll take your collar off for now. Um, so I want to give you kind of a heads up as to exactly how this all transpired. Bring some awareness to the person that brought her to me. And um, and, and this is in an effort to network, in, in a net, I'm trying to learn to not talk so fast, guys in an effort to network um, so that people can follow her page and so that people are regionally close to her. And she posts about dogs that she's rescuing all the time because she's a rescue and a sanctuary and a hospice. So when she gets them, she could certainly use some help in the uh, Georgia, North South Carolina area. Um, you know, Northern Florida, she can kind of go do that whole area. So for those of you in that region that are looking to help out, if I can facilitate some awareness to her, and I know she's been doing so well as far as like the, the amount of caring that she does and the amount of um, art that she puts behind this. So anyway, um, again, this is Miss B, and B was one of the ones she rescued from, I, I forget what shelter, you're gonna have to forgive me. Um, and that's down there somewhere. But uh, the problem with B is that, uh, the, the and I can tell you her name, her name is um, Amber. So Amber Mercer and her husband, um, Mark, uh, wonderful couple. Uh, she's uh, been rescuing for quite a long time and she kind of snuck the first one in on him and uh, she said it was an old, you know, this little guy was terminal or had a bunch of stuff wrong with him. He's not gonna last very long. He ended up living for a long time. So this is how they, Mark got suckered into doing this. But I've seen his demeanor with these dogs and he just absolutely adores them too. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, Amber never really calls on me unless it's absolutely necessary. Hi, Buggy Buggy Buggy. And, um, you know, she, she brought Pepe to me and she asked me if we could help out with... Uh, little bit uh charlotte and lucy blue too um basically because they were they were about to go to the shelter um bad situation and she couldn't help out so she facilitated that of course we fell in love with them and we would never let them go um but anyway so uh for her to get a hold of me about miss b i mean look at miss b she's so beautiful you've seen the picture she's adoptable right right well she's got some issues she's got not one but two things wrong so i misspoke a little bit and now that i've seen her what's up meatball man too hardly Kiki Blizzard. <clears throat> um, so I thought that she had basically only this lump right here. Now, now you can't see it as bad here, but down in here she's got this big fleshy mass. As, as basically we're hoping it's a lipoma. So it's, a, it's a, there you go. You can see it popping out there. That's not that's not supposed to be there. So that's one concern. But that's not the reason why her her leg is so kind of crooked and kicked over. So if you feel this leg, it's full. It looks like a big old chicken chicken wing. You know this one. It's it's a uh, there's no meat left on it. There's no uh, muscle mass or whatever. And it looks to me and it feels like it's almost as if, and we'll have to wait until we get x-rays done. Sometime a while ago, very long time ago, she either dislocated it or had it broken and twisted, uh, but now it's affected the knee and everything. And I can tell you from last night, like this is not something that a normal person would want to do. I'm gonna let you go, okay, you wanna sniff around? Don't you jump, don't you jump off that bed, child. Um, I don't think she will, she didn't do it off the bed down there. But uh, this is something a normal person's not gonna wanna have to deal with. And, I, and the reason why is because it's not just that she has this deformity. Obviously, it affects her walking, as you guys have seen. She hops around sometimes. And, and when she's very slow to walk, she walks and it's uncomfortable. But every single time she would move in her sleep or try to roll over or try to get up in the morning or try to get up at any point, uh, she whines. She winces in pain. And I noticed that even if she's starting, you know, because we're still new, she trusts me and everything. But like if I would go pick her up after laying there for a while, she actually winces and winced in pain and kind of looked at me and like the distrust was there again. So this is this is a, an ongoing problem for her. So it's got to be fixed. And I don't know what fixing. I'm sorry, I'm watching Harley. Look at this. And I don't know what fixing means. I don't know if it's um a surgery can fix it. Um, I don't know if it's dislocated. I don't know if it's broken. I don't know if we're gonna have to amputate. But what I do know is it can't stay the way it is. So um, whatever the solution is, I'm willing and prepared to deal with it. Uh, she hops around just fine right now. So God forbid, worst case scenario, um, she's gonna be a little tripod. Uh, that would be absolute worst case, but I'm okay with that. She hops around on it now. She's not going to miss the legs. She's going to be the cutest little tripod ever. Um, so when Amber got her, she was she had these issues with her. On top of that, she had a dental problem and you know needed her spay done. So she puts her on the table, and because of just the dental and the spay, they couldn't even do the lipoma, or even like even begin to fathom doing the leg because uh, she started she started to tank. Her blood pressure dropped. They almost lost her. So there has another whole uh, aspect of this that makes it a little little hairy. So I'm gonna have to stress about that. But um, so we're gonna take every precaution we can take when when we go in to get our surgeries done. But yeah, we're a little worried about all of that. 
So now the real reason that Amber asked, her, asked me to turn her on to me is because she herself, and God bless her, she's a tank. I don't mean it like that, Amber, you're a sweetheart. But she's now going through her fifth bout, fifth unique bout of cancer. She's had five different types of cancers now in her body. She's beaten the first four, but now we've moved on to stage three colorectal cancer. And she's told me it's okay to tell you guys this. Um, and I, and I just she just doesn't have it in her right now because after giving uh, B to me yesterday, she has to quarantine for two weeks before her surgery. So she can't be outside, she can't you know, be in contact. So And she's limited to the amount of dogs that she has left to where her husband can take care of them for her. But she's gonna be out of it for a while. They're talking six months of a liquid diet. Um, it's gonna be very difficult for her to maintain. So all of our prayers go to you, Amber. You are an angel, you are a sweetheart. And I wanna, like I said, I wanna bring awareness to you. I've worked with you with Pepe. Is how you know we, we first met. And then the other three girls. Um, I've met your husband, I've met your son. The whole family supports it, that's great. She works with another rescue. Um, but she has her own rescue on Facebook, guys. And if you can follow it, I would be proud. I'll put the verbiage, in, I'll put it in the verbiage. Uh, but it's Amber's Angels Sanctuary and uh, Hospice. And I'll, like I said, I'll put the, come here, sweetheart, little B. Miss B, do you have to get down to the potties, maybe? Come here, baby. <laughs> you wanna go check stuff out? Come here. So, um, yeah, I'll put, I'll put that in there. I'll put the link and put it in there. There she goes, see her hopping around. Little Miss B. See, that, that's too great. I mean, she gets along just fine, but that leg is just not working. Um, and like I said, no muscle mass. Definitely can't put any weight on her. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna help Amber out as much as I can. And I want you to know that Amber, Amber not only helps special needs, but she helps get all of them out of those shelters in her region. So again, there's some that are adoptable that, that you can help out. But this woman has taught me so much. Like she can teach me how to tube feed. She can teach me how to, um, you know, gastro tube feed. I mean, she goes in and builds her own uh, incubators and um, oxygenators and all this other stuff. Whereas I go buy them, she knows how to build them off of parts off of Amazon. She's really incredible. Um, and her knowledge is invaluable. And once I get some time to work with her on these things, I'm gonna share that knowledge as well. So I just wanna give a special shout out to her and her family right now. Um, they're, they're, under, they're under it right now. All of my prayers go to you. And I want to thank you for bringing little Miss B into our lives. Um, we're going to get her fixed up. She'll probably be fixed up before you will. No joke intended there, Amber, because I know you're such a good sport about all this. Um, and again, I thank you guys so much. So welcome, Miss B. That's her story. We're going <laughs> to keep telling them, Harley. <laughs> we're going to get them all done and uh, get her all fixed up. And we'll let you know as, as we go along with it. So there she is home. Thank you, guys. Is that man, too? Meatball. <laughs> ah, it was my meatball. You want a little strawberry? It's okay, go get it. There, here it is, Sonny. There it is, go get it. Go get it, me, Bob. <laughs> he got his toy. He got my toy. <laughs>